Don't ask me why I always choose these derelict places to shoot my videos in, but for some reason I'm just drawn to them. So I thought it was time for an update because I think about this channel a lot and I want to make a video and I just don't know what to talk about or I'm feeling not my best self so I don't want to show up with negativity and then I keep myself from going out with my camera and making a video but it's time for me to just be real and if I'm not in the best space of mind then that's what I'll be sharing about so lately I've kind of been struggling with my energy levels more than usual and it's not that my energy is less than usual but I gave up coffee about three months ago and I was hoping that after making that huge sacrifice that I would be rewarded with some better balanced energy throughout the day. And I'm finding that I still crash after just a couple of hours in the morning and then I need that afternoon nap in order to yeah, function the second half of the day. I was really hoping to cut down on that nap time. So I was just very disappointed. I'm not saying that I regret giving up coffee because I'm definitely more level-headed now. Like, I do have <laughs> less peaks of energy, like extreme rush and then all of a sudden crash, boom, bang. But um, yeah, and I'm also very happy to not have that constant mental obsession about caffeine because for me it was definitely an addiction and I needed that morning cup of coffee in order to get through the day. So I'm glad that I don't have that anymore but I was just hoping because it was really hard for me to give up coffee that it would have this amazing benefit to stimulate me to keep up this lifestyle without coffee. And yeah, it's just not that big of a difference. So now I gotta keep searching for ways to find more energy balance. And I have good days and bad days. And I think sometimes it's very hormonal. Like when I go through my monthly cycle, I have recurring great energy days and recurring terrible energy days. And so I think that there's a connection there as well, which is kind of frustrating because that's something I don't have control over. And I really wish that I could balance that out as well somehow. And I still don't know sometimes how to block out the world. And I'll be really energized and excited to do something. And then when I get to that place, for example, uh, an activity and there's just unexpected loud music, obnoxious music coming from the background or from someone's boombox. And within five minutes, I'm done. Like I'm spent and I can't think clearly and I'm agitated. I can't enjoy the activities and I just want to go home and crash. So sometimes I struggle with trying to figure out why sometimes I'm more robust and other times it's like a leaking battery. Yeah. And there was a point where I thought maybe I'm a little bit too introspective and the more I check in with myself, the more focused I am on my energy. And so if I just stay more outward, I'll notice less that I'm overwhelmed and fatigued, etc. And then I can push myself to go further and longer. That only goes so far. And it only with certain activities like if I'm doing something I really love, like photography, I can totally get lost in it and hours fly by and then suddenly it hits me. Oh, well, I'm really drained right now. <laughs> but if it's something that requires more mental focus, for example, then I really feel the struggle all throughout and I can't just push through. If, it's, if I'm not up to the task, then I, I can't, I just can't. So sometimes I just wish I had a lot more energy so that I could just have a full day just without a break, without that wasted gap in the middle. I, I could see it as a waste. It would be nice to just have some pumped up energy to play through the day. There's so much that I want to do in my day. There's so much that I want to achieve. I have all these ideas. 
and I have all these tasks and some are fun creative projects and others are, you know, just things that have to be done as part of human life. Rarely do I get to check off my whole list because I just don't have enough oomph to get through them. But hey, it is what it is and, you know, I always remind myself that things could be a lot worse and I just gotta find a way to make my specific needs work for me. But anyway, I'd love to hear from you guys about your own unique struggles and how you get through them or trying to navigate through them. So please drop me a comment and let me know how you're doing. I've been having an idea for this channel because I want to make more visually soothing videos with like voiceovers and beautiful scenery. And I'm just wondering as a viewer, what makes you show up to my channel? What makes you watch my videos? If you could drop me a little comment about what value you get from the videos that I put up here, I would really appreciate it. I make these videos because I enjoy doing it, but it's also very rewarding that there's actually someone else on the other end enjoying them. So this is a me and you journey. I can't do this alone. So let me know what you think. <laughs>